Do you know uh, every time I come here how I choose place for campsite? Well, it's very easy. I just check where Dogo is eating the damn rocks. Welcome back to Survival Land. Let me take you off from here. Uh, back in this nice pine forest and I think we found our place to set the campsite. Dogo is eating rocks because he already ate all of the wood around. Today we expect thunderstorm. The reason for that is it is very warm here plus we have rainy clouds with possible rain. And when you combine these two together you get a ton of thunders. What do you think? Let me eat this rock. I'm gonna eat this rock. Who cares about thunderstorm? Something about that. Real question of the show is this, and there he is, already 20 minutes eating the rock. The good news are, he's around here, and that doesn't happen often. Well, it is hot here, and for that matter, I'm going to remove my clothing here. And attention, guys, with all those likes, subscribes, and good comments, which help a lot, the best way you can help me come here is through the merch. If you want a shirt like this or some similar shirts, you can find in my store there. Or you can become Patreon. Well, by becoming a Patreon, you're gonna get into giveaways. With that being said, you're gonna also see some stuff you don't see on the channel. I post there my everyday stuff, so make sure if you can go there or get the merch. That will help a lot. Well, you really don't know when to quit, right? Well, this morning I tried to figure out uh, what should I take today for this overnighter. And since we are in this forest here, I actually can't cut too much because there is not much dead stuff around here, okay? So uh, for natural shelter is no go here because we will have to kill some trees here and that would be a bad idea, okay? I have a lot of widow makers but they're just too big, I don't have chains up here. So for that matter, I have my tarp again. <laughs> I know, I know, but most of you said I want to see tarp shelters. So you're going to see another one today. Um, uh, we have here also some rocks which we're going to use for a fire reflector, for a unique fire reflector, and then we're going to have some nice food here. And hopefully, there'll be some rain because it's really hot here. Okay, we're gonna play. You wanna see how crazy he is? Oh. <laughs> Freaking squirrel. Just to remind you guys, AquaQuest is a big friend of a channel. If you want to get one of these or anything from them, 
link description discount code for 10% off a survival on 10 go check it out Looks like my tarp is gonna give birth. Crazy freaking dog. Come on, dude. Hey, hey, hey. What the fuck are you doing? Hear that? <laughs> Luckily enough. We're not on these peaks up there, so we're not gonna get struck by lightning. Well, at least I hope so. <laughs> go get it, go get it. You can see that it started raining, so I have to be a bit quicker here just to move my gear inside. Alright, so uh, as always, as I said, tarp shelter. And this one is a bit different than the last time because we have more space inside. You're gonna see it, and uh, of course, we're gonna fold sides inside, so we have a nice sleeping area. Check how thirsty these flies are. So these are the raindrops, and Flies are attacking right away. Dogo has a new hobby here, which is fly hunting. The only hear that. Only thing is, uh, he's jumping all around my shelter here, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So come here. Here's the walk around. Of course, I passed my tarp a long time ago. You can see over here this shape 
and this is for my head here so I have extra space and from the inside let me show you there's my umbrella for you here is the dogo and there you go we have a ton of space inside here same from this side so in case of some heavy rain you can see that uh, we have here rain now we have sun, then we have thunders, then we have rain again and it's just moving all around at the same time. Um, uh, hopefully we're gonna have some rain so that you have that ASMR feeling here, not just me talking around here. Uh, in front here I have some rocks over there. I'm gonna make fireplace here, which I had. You're crazy, aren't you? Um, uh, a few weeks back, so we're gonna light a fire and have something to eat. So hopefully this time Doug will not ruin our meal here. Some fun weather is coming here. We're getting we're getting ready here to be hit by that storm which is coming. Well even in case it passes around, you have to be ready. So uh I'm thinking about making this series some kind of rules. So let's start this with the number one rule. Always be prepared. So I'm gonna cover my pack here. And because I have a ton of work inside of my shelter, so I don't want to be messing around. Because my doggo will just sit on it or lay on it and he's gonna destroy it. And for that matter, it's gonna stay here. In case rain comes, we're gonna put everything inside and we'll wait this weather to pass. Uh, hopefully it will pass around. Cairo! Dude, I do like your new hobby, but you're gonna destroy. Check my bed. Stop eating. Hey! I said stop eating damn flies. So right here I have a nice wall that's gonna protect my fire from the wind which comes from your direction. And it became cold here a little bit because we are covered in this rain cloud so it's gonna hit us probably any second I mean if it doesn't that would be a miracle because that's just crazy what the hell is wrong with this dog now so he's right now almost seven years old so you found a new hobby right eating a damn flies well better than my firewood that's for sure
Well, I'm making here the stick for the food because we're gonna have nice roast on the fire and I'm making this before the fire because I don't lose any time in this weather in case uh, rain comes it's gonna ruin my meal so I want everything to be ready for the fire to make this meal possible meanwhile for mother all right so over here we have this stone table which is actually part of our fire reflector and right now I'm like hosting these cooking shows so today we have one paprika second paprika green one we have some cheese we have some shrooms and we have some bacon which is not actually bacon we call it different here because it dry out completely so you can eat it raw like this which most of you were confused when you saw that last time and we're gonna put it all on our sticky stick here crazy asshole Well, this red one is actually very, very nice and watery. We had probably till now 50 plus strikes of lightning nearby. And for all of you who's gonna say, oh, in the thumbnail, in the title, there are thunders, where are the thunders? Well, dude, what you want me to do here, you want me maybe to, to get my drone up and to try to find thunder. You can hear it, so basically it's all around, so I don't lie here. If you want to see thunders, go Google it. There are a lot of interesting pics of it. And this one is actually, hmm, very, very good. <laughs> he just saw half of my shelter. Check that out. Oh man. Ooh. Well, it seems that uh, I really did gain a lot of weight, you can see. I can't even stand in between these two trees and uh, the second I'm 220 pounds but that's fine better to be 220 than a 110 well my wife is still with me so she don't have a problem with it so that's a plus right uh, all right uh, time to make our meal so we're gonna start here with this bacon and then we're gonna be using some cheese hopefully it will not fall apart come on come on come on come on there you go very good and then we can take one shroom you can see it works very very well and a little bit of this nice paprika okay there we go 
then the red one. Then you're gonna repeat the process with the bacon. Still hunting flies? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it started to rain for a second, so we're gonna stay in some shelter since it's just a small cloud of it. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna wait on break from this rain, then we're gonna light a fire and get our meal done. And afterward, it is almost 6 o'clock, so in one hour we should have complete darkness already. I mean, darkness for filming. This problem uh, for my cam and for any cam in this world, when you have that, you know, night ambient film uh, normally. But uh, yeah, I think it should be fine. So we will be fine if he stops eating the damn flies. He destroyed half the shelter. This was very nice and dense, and because of this guy jumping around like crazy, it is loose a little bit. That was a nice shower. Let me pick up my Well I forgot my point out here. Now we're gonna take it like this just in case some of it come again. And now flies has party around here because they seems to be pretty thirsty. Now, luckily enough I have a fly killer inside of my shelter here, who is by the way He's a bit of a and he's afraid of rain. Uh, all right, so before whole party begins, let's light a fire. So we don't have nothing fancy again. We have our big lighter. That should do the job. And there we go. Here comes the rain again a little bit. Hopefully it's gonna leave me in peace to cook my meal completely here. Now this weather is actually even a bit annoying because at one second it is raining, it is wind. The next second I'm dying out inside of my poncho here from being hot like this. But we have fire. Right now, we're gonna try some of these. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, man. Well. One of you has told me once <laughs> in the comments, you finally eat some normal food. Well, if this isn't normal, I don't know what it is. Oh, I wish you could smell this. Check this out. I don't know. Will it focus? Oh, focus, 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 focus. But we have some nice coals and we don't need and we don't want big fire here because we don't want to have forest fire. Simple as that. There we go. Oh man, this is very good. And it takes uh, no effort at all. You just have to cut some vegetables. And I need to eat some more vegetables because of my diet. I'm too big and I don't have 220 pounds for vegetables, trust me. I have one huge issue in my life, which is chocolate. And uh, with last pregnancy of my wife, she ate a ton of chocolate and with her, you know, condolences and everything I ate too, so right now I'm here where I am, but I'm still, you know, in normal level. 
And there we go. I'm gonna leave this for a few more minutes and then we're gonna try it out. Okay, there we go. Check that cheese. Oh, I don't know, really focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Oh, this, my friends. Mm. I have no force for it. Pure excellence. Mm. Let's try out this. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Man, those thunders, they're just, they're not gonna stop. One thing in this earth life, which I really, really like, is melt cheese. Come on, dude. Who doesn't like melt cheese? Check this out, wait for it. Hmm. Want some? You know what's weird? My dog always sitting down there in a the shelter and we're eating. And the thing is, he probably ate a ton of flies. Yeah, that's it. He had a ton of flies. He actually ate some, I saw him. That's the bit. Mm. Well, we have uh, such a mess inside here because of crazy doggo. It is time to get in our sleeping system. And we're gonna rest a little bit. Uh, as I said in my last bit, newborns are fun, right? So I'm resting here. Most people are. Dude, what are you doing in the forest? Uh, you're going to the forest. Well, well, it's obvious, right? I come here to rest. <laughs> All right, guys, weather out here is changing second to second, so... Oh, I find this nice shelter, and I have no idea where the hell is my dog. He's probably somewhere out there, just hunting these flies or something. But anyway, I'm gonna be fine. It's very hot out here, plus this humidity from rain, plus the annoying flies and everything. But I think I'm gonna be fine. There are no mosquitoes, no ticks, so we should survive the night. Oh, all right, guys. Uh, let me check where the hell that crazy dog is. Then we're gonna go sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, guys. This guy is very annoying in point of sleeping, I mean. I have a ton of space from both sides. And he has to lay on my head. All Lord night we had this, all night we had these thunderstorms, which were not fun, actually. And we had a ton of rain. Can you see this? But uh, right now, oh, it's very good. Let me show you. I'm not gonna try. See that? So basically, I'm in my underwear, and uh, I had no shirt all night, but that didn't help. Plus, the rain humidity was just crazy. Can't believe how thirsty this soil is. So uh, let me show you here. So it is a little bit wet, but still, it drinks every drop of water. 
which is not good. That means we're gonna have a very bad fire season. Remember what I said? You're gonna see me, all of you guys who are patrons, you're gonna see posts over there. So check this out. It's all dried out, my tarp is dried, just like nothing happened through all night. Well, I almost forgot my bra uh, where I have my life insurance as spare mag for it. All right, guys, here's my backpack. Oh, we came to an end of this sweat. I hope you liked our adventure. Uh, luckily enough, this morning we don't have any flies around, so my crazy doggo is just fine normal. Which is weird. Thank you guys for watching. Oh, my back hurts a little bit. Um, uh, if you like the vid, you know what to do. Hit that like button, comment section, comment section, guys, that's very important. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Consider becoming a Patreon and get a merch. Thanks again for watching. And uh, he's bite his ass. We're gonna see you next time. So, have a nice one.